Hey guys, welcome back to Resin Bell. Today we are trying out the Resiner Smart Curing Machine. Um, now this machine is supposed to cure your epoxy resin in 1 to 2 hours, as opposed to 12 to 24 hours, which is the normal time. Um, so we're going to try this baby out. I'm going to let you know what I think about it. They were kind enough to send this to me for free, but my opinions are my own. And I will let them know what I think about it as well. So let's get into this. Open it up. Let's see what she looks like. Oh, there's the lid. Very well packaged. We've got your instructions. And let's see. We've got some trays. Looks a lot like a food dehydrator, but it's made for curing resin. So this will be kind of neat. All right. get this box out of the way okay so this is what it looks like out of the box and you have your uh, timer and the temperature um, you have the lid comes off and then you have three trays that lift off so you can do three sets of items there a lot of space there um, I do the one thing is is that you know your molds have to be fairly thin um, I've got some very pretty thin ones would fit pretty well on one of these tiers here and you can see it's got plenty of space there plenty of room there but if you have something that's thicker going to set very close to the top here it's it's quite close so if you have your um, if you do like any kind of doming or anything you might run into problems there but on the top tier if you had your top tier on there and then you have this lid these handles go down into that top layer but the edges here, if you have like a small mold like this, there is a little bit more room here. Um, so you could get away with putting some things in the corners and that are just a little bit bigger. But if you were to set it like there, it, it hits. So something to be mindful of. But if you do a lot of thin molds, maybe jewelry molds, and you do a lot of them, then this might be something that would work for you. So I am going to do two sets. I'm going to do one set that is outside of the machine and curing and one set that is inside the machine and curing and we're going to see just how well this goes. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is mix up some resin and epoxy resin. This is two part and this is Maker Epoxy by Jess Crow. You can get that at TotalBoat.com and we're going to mix up some resin and pour some molds. Please, when you're using resin, always use gloves, which I'm not wearing right now because I'm out, but you should be wearing gloves and a respirator to protect your lungs and eyeglasses um, to protect your eyes and face. Um, if you are very sensitive to chemicals and stuff, you should always very much protect yourself. Resin, epoxy resin can cause you to have an allergy to it over time, so limit your exposure to epoxy resin, fumes, and uh, liquid. Okay, so the resiner's machine does recommend that you pour inside your, um, put your molds in and then pour your resin while it's in here because it could be difficult to move your molds after you've poured them and you could spill and cause a mess. So we're going to pour this in here. I'm going to let this set for just a few minutes and allow some of these bubbles to pop and then we'll pour and then we'll wait 15 minutes before we start the machine.
Okay, now that I've got both of those poured, I'm going to let them set for about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to start this machine, and we'll just see how they cure together. Okay, something I do want to cover, um, I, I just turned this off, and so it has a period after you turn it off that it has to cool off, because that little uh, fan at the bottom does heat up a little bit to give warm air that helps it to cure faster. Um, but the first thing you need to do when you go to turn this on, there are two knobs, and at the top of the knob, there's a little notch. Now, when I got mine, it was turned around and this one was turned down just in shipping you have to make sure that you turn those knobs at the top it does show this in the directions but it doesn't say it specifically it just shows a, a diagram where this is at the top so make sure you put those both at the top because if they're turned to a different setting you're going to get a different temperature which may or may not um, cure your resin um, this is less minute if it's turned down here it'll be less minutes so make sure both of those notches are at the top of your dials and then you're going to go and you're going to turn your unit on and you'll see this and then you're going to hit the AI button push it in and that will automatically start it at a at a setting that is supposed to cure your resin so some people I think are having trouble with that um, there's a negative comment on Amazon because of that but I think it's probably because they did not turn the dial all the way to the top and that is what the setting needs to be to do the automatic setting so make sure you check that okay it's been about 10 minutes I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and hit this AI button. I'm going to push it in and that is its automatic settings. And It's going to blink for a moment and then it will turn on. I'm going to put my lid on and we're going to come back when this is done and then we will test those pieces against these. Alright guys it's been a little bit a little bit more than two hours and we'll just open this up and see what happens. Let's see. I don't want to touch it. Ah, yes. That is fully cured. Like you can't even put a dent in it. That is awesome. Let's see. Check it out. Fully cured. Let's see how this one is doing. Okay. So this is the one that was not in. Check it out, you guys got a long ways to go so this thing 100% definitely works fully fully cured it's not you know it's fully cured full on that's pretty cool that is awesome um, just make sure that you have a well ventilated area to use this in I would not recommend using this inside your home unless you have very very good ventilation a good strong uh, exhaust fan that pulls air out of the area that you're using this um, something very very strong so I have a really high powered exhaust fan that draws air out of this room to the outside so um, I can safely use this I think and I close the door and then I let this run and I let the exhaust pull the air out so um, I'm not in here while this is running I would not recommend being around it while it's running unless you're wearing a mask and uh, but 100% absolutely works um, this will definitely help you out for small small items you know this is this is about as thick as you can get right here um, Otherwise, the trays are just too shallow. But, you know, for resin jewelry and stuff, that's going to be a lifesaver. But, I mean, there is one drawback. I wish, I do wish they had one of these that was deeper. You know, maybe one tray on the bottom being deeper. And then, you know, maybe two sh shorter ones. So that you can do larger projects in it. Not just super, super thin things. Uh, thank you to the folks that sent me the resiners. And I will have a link to this product in the description box below. 
So I think this is going to be a really great investment for somebody that does a lot of like keychains and resin jewelry and that sort of thing to put up in their stores or to sell individually. Um, it, it's definitely an investment. It's, it's, it's a little over $100, but it does cure your things in less than two hours. It, I mean, it absolutely works. I'm surprised, and this will save you so much time. Um, you know, the fact that it has three different trays, you can cure a lot of stuff, pull them out, pour some more, put another batch in, you know, I mean, it's, it's going to be a, a game changer for anybody that doesn't have one. So, um, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!